Hello everyone, it's me Clates, and I just finished watching My Oni Girl, directed and animated by Studio Colorado. And similar to their previous films, like Drifting Away from 2022 and A Whisker Away from 2020, and also their work on Burn the Witch, which is based on the manga by Taita Kubo, this is a very well animated film that tells a pretty down-to-earth story despite having some supernatural elements. Seems to be something they do a lot when it comes to their Netflix animated films, but let's get to it, shall we? The story focuses on Yat Yusei, played in the English dub by Michael Johnston. He's the kind of kid who can't say no to any of his friends, but very few things really go his way. That is, until he meets a girl named Sumugi, played by Victoria T. Johnson. This girl is an oni, judging by the horn on her head, and she's trying to find her mother, who she hasn't seen ever since she was a little baby. So the two decide to travel the Japanese countryside to find Sumugi's mother, while they also run across various people who they help along the way, whether they're hitchhiking, running a shop, or whether they're just an inn together. All while Yat Yusei's father tries to find them when, since they basically uh, went on this trip without telling him. So, yeah, this movie is basically a supernatural road trip type. And at a, a runtime of only about 96 minutes, it doesn't overstay its welcome when it comes to these characters. It knows what kind of story it wants to tell, and it does so pretty pretty decently. The animation by Studio Colorado, while I wouldn't consider it the most impressive of the studio, is pretty well done, especially when it comes to the supernatural elements that do come in, such as the different Oni designs for the for the supernatural characters, or a snow god who shows up to provide some of the film's action scenes. Granted, action is secondary to everything, but the, the, the action scenes still look pretty good and even pretty atmospheric in many cases. Now, it is also clear that Studio Colorado happened to put a lot of effort into getting all this hand-drawn, and while there are CGI elements used for like some of the camera movements or even a few of the creatures, they're not that noticeable. The things that need to look good in the film do look good, and it's very clear that the people who are working at the studio get across their messages in their films very well. The message here being that your connections ultimately make you a better person, especially when you decide to enjoy the journey of it, of the, rather than just focus entirely on the destination. Granted, it does also tie into Yat Yusei's inability to say no to people when it comes down to it, but it also allows the human characters and the Oni characters to come together at the end when, throughout some parts of the film, they naturally don't trust each other. It feels like it's done in a way that's a bit more, how shall we say, um, understandable because it's two groups of people trying to help each other in a situation that neither of them can control. So, naturally it gets them to work together as opposed to against each other for once. Also, the ending does have plenty of flashbacks to, to various events that occurred previous in the film, but not only do I think that strengthens the message of the film, but the animation during that final scene, few scenes is some of the most fluid and most emotionally impactful of the whole film. So you could get the sense that they were kind of saving money to get those scenes to look as good as they do. Now, I don't know if it's as good as Penguin Highway or A Whisker Away when it comes to their films, but for those who are a fan of Studio Colorado's work, it should please you. That's why I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. See you next time.